Hey, what's up everybody? This is your man Pristine, back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing the Pristine review for the Alcatel Idol 4. Uh, this is a phone that I picked up maybe a couple of weeks ago. Uh, my bad for the delay for the review. I've um, just been very busy lately, been tied up quite often. Um, but I had a little bit of time and I really wanted to get this review out because I know that there's some people that are interested in my particular views on this particular device. So without further ado, let's get into it. Um, <clears throat> just real quick, we'll just kind of go over some specs real quick before I um, start actually playing around with the phone, just as a reminder of what it is that we've got here in front of us. Um, let's see. So this is a phone that I got from Cricut. Um, if you get this from Cricut right now, if you port a number over, I believe that promotion is still going on. You can get this phone right now for $99.99 which is an absolute steal for this particular phone. Um, on the Alcatel website and on Amazon, if I'm not mistaken, this phone is selling right now for 370 bucks. 370 bucks. Now, mind you, this is just the Idol 4. There is an Idol 4S, which the Idol 4S is the more premium phone or the more premium version of this particular phone. The difference is, this is a 5.2 inch display. The 4S has a 5.5 inch display. This has um, a 13 megapixel rear camera. Uh, the Idol 4S has a 16 megapixel rear shooter. Um, the Idol 4S has a fingerprint sensor on the back. This one has no fingerprint sensor. So there's some, there's some little differences there. And there's also a difference in price. Um, but, you know... Getting this phone for a hundred bucks for porting a number over to Cricket to me is an absolute steal. If you don't port a number over, it's $149.99. So that's still a really good buy for this price, considering what the full price the full retail price is going for. Um and I've already got the phone unlocked. Um again, even though I got it through Cricket, uh let's see if you see there. See AT&T right there? I've got my AT&T SIM card popped in this bad boy. So, um, yeah, yeah, definitely a good steal. Great buy for 100 bucks. Um, but we've got a 5.2 1080 by 1920 pixel display. We've got 424 PPI pixel density for the techies. We're running Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. We've got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 617 chipset. Octa-core CPU, Adreno 405 GPU, we've got 3 gigabytes of RAM on board, and 16 gigabytes of ROM, okay? Now, let's just go and take a quick peek at some of the phone's cosmetics, um, starting with the front of the phone. Again, we've got the 5.2-inch um, full 1080p display, and this display is beautiful. Um, you know, I, I find it very interesting that a lot of people make uh, they'll, they'll slam a phone because it doesn't have a, a quad HD display. But look at this display. Look at this. Double tap to unlock it. And I like the fact, let's get rid of these. Hold on, let me go ahead and get into it real quick. Okay, look at this. Look at this display. Full 1080p display. I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. You see how snappy the phone is? Now, let's look at the brightness. Look where the brightness the brightness setting is, y'all. It's not even halfway. And look at how bright this phone is. So just imagine if I had it up either halfway or to its full capacity. I mean, the screen on this phone is no slouch by a long shot. To me, this phone is more, it, it seems as though it's got more detail than some Quad HD, uh, uh, quad HD displays that I've seen. So this the display on this phone is just phenomenal. Um... And so, again, you know, I know that sometimes people, they make fusses over, you know, screens being quad HD, but get the phone in hand and take a look at it for yourself. A lot of it just has to do with the brightness, the sharpness, you know, just how things really pop out at you when you're looking at it. I mean, to me, this screen pops out more than some quad HD screens that I've seen, you know, so, you know... Don't don't let 1080p be the determining factor. You know if you're if that's something that's a major deal to you. This screen quality on this phone is absolutely uh, absolutely phenomenal. Excuse me. Um, 
So again, just real quick, just taking a look around the phone, double tap to turn off the screen, which is a convenient feature. Um, again, we've got the 5.2 inch display. Um, we've got the, um, the LED notificator right there. So depending on the type of message that you get, it'll flash different colors. This is the eight megapixel front facing camera that um, is also housing an LED flash to the top. We've got this silver aluminum or metal, which houses one of the JBL certified front firing speakers to the bottom. Again, same metal texture housing the other JBL certified front, fi uh, front firing speaker. So we've got dual front facing speakers that sound phenomenal. Stereo quality, again, JBL certified speakers, they sound wonderful. To the right of the phone. We've got the, the dual SIM slot. Shout out to my man Flossie. Um, this is a uh, nano SIM, so it, it can hold two SIMs. And it also houses a uh, micro SD card up to 256 gigs. This button right here, this is the boom key. So this key, again, it, it just it, it enhances certain features in certain apps. And so if you're listening to music and you press the boom key, it's going to enhance the sound. If you're using the camera application and you want some additional features with the camera to be able to tweak a couple of more things or do fun things with the camera, you press the boom key and it, it, it will allow you to do that. Um, we've got the volume rocker as well, up and down. Again, top of the phone. Um, we've got the antenna line. Microphone, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. To the left of the phone, we've got the power button. And that's it to the left of the phone. Now, I know this phone has gotten slammed over the button placement, you know, with the power button being all the way at the top of the left hand of the screen. Again, if you look at how we hold phones, I mean, yeah, granted, my index finger is right here near the button, but it's still very awkward because I'm like, my fingers aren't that long. So I'm having to like adjust the phone to reach it if I'm going to press it with that. So typically what I would do if I want to access that button is I'll just grab it with my left thumb and just go ahead and press it. Um, I would have liked for the button placement to have all been on the right side of the phone. Maybe just have the volume rockers here where they are and then just have the home button placed right here just for easy access. But the boom key is right there. And so you can, um, program the boom key to function like it would be the power button. So like if you want to turn the phone on, you can just press the boom key and get the screen to come on. You don't necessarily have to reach all the way to the left of the phone to get to the uh, the power button there. So it's convenient having that boom key function right there. Another thing that I like is you see the screen go off. Double tap the screen. You'll notice that every time you get rid of these notifications, um, every time you turn the screen on, there's a different wallpaper in the back and you see the little heart right there. You can just go ahead and touch that heart if you like that particular wallpaper. And then whenever you pull the phone back up or whenever you open up the screen, turn the screen on, I mean, it'll show all the different saved wallpapers that you've got. Um, and and that, and that's just, just for the lock screen. You know, once you get into the phone, then, um, you know, you just go ahead and swipe up. You know, I always keep a lock on my phone, you know, just, you know, make sure that wifey can't get into it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, just in, sight, just in case I decide to creep, you know what I'm saying? Got to hide the evidence. Um, nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just joking, babe. If you watch this video, I'm just joking. Um, but yeah, well, let's see if I can get it to come on. Um, let's see. Yeah, and then when I unlock the phone, then it just goes directly to whatever wallpapers that you've got saved. Um, so, bottom of the phone, another two antenna lines, microphone, and then we've got the um, micro uh, USB for charging. Now, this is not Type-C, but this does support fast charging, and it is actually pretty fast. Um, from zero to 100, it's about an hour and a half, maybe two hours to a full charge. Um so that that's not too bad, you know. But um, back of the phone, we have, and this phone is beautifully crafted. Um, Gorilla Glass three on the front and back of the phone. Alcatel Idol branding, Cricket branding there. Wish I could take that off, but no big deal. Like I said, the phone is unlocked, so you know I can use it with any GSM carrier. Um, 
13 megapixel rear facing camera with the dual tone LED flash. Okay, so again, that is the uh, the exterior cosmetics of this particular device. Um, now again, uh, let's see, went over that, the cameras. Again, we've got a 13 megapixel rear camera and an eight megapixel front firing camera. Now the rear camera, I've got my cheat sheet here, y'all. It's an f 2.0 aperture. It uh, it features phase detection, autofocus, dual LED dual tone flash, geo tagging, touch focus, face detection, panorama, HDR. Um, the front facing camera is 1080p LED flash, and the video recording is 30 frames per second at 1080p, which isn't bad. Depending on who you ask, I mean, to me, to me, it looks really good. Here, matter of fact, here, let me go ahead and flash a little picture real quick, just so you guys can get a taste of what the camera's working with. I was very impressed with the camera on this phone. Um, it's a great value for the ninety-nine dollar price point, or even if you don't port a number over, if you want to get this phone from Crooked, just to get it for the cheapest price possible. You know, you can get it for the $99.99 at Cricket if they still have the promotion going on. If not, it's $149, which to me, that's still a great deal for this phone, considering that it's being sold full retail price for $370. That's a steal. Let me go ahead and open this camera app up for you guys and take a quick shot so you guys can see what the camera's working with. All right, let me see. Let me go ahead A little Android guy back there. Okay. So let's take a look at this real quick. Now this is this is my desk. Got a couple of smart watches up there. You see my little Android um iHome little speaker back there in the back. Um it's a good picture. You know, good detail. You know, I'm I'm I don't get too uh, too wrapped up in the politics of cameras, you know, again, to me, it's just about what looks good with the naked eye. You know, I mean, if I flash a picture, you know, colors are natural, it's bright, things, things look realistic like they do in real life, then to me, I mean, that's a good camera. You know, I don't get into all this, oh, this is washed out and this is overexposed and this is that. Nothing against those that are really, really into the, 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 the fine pinpointed details of, what a picture should look like, but to me, it's just not that serious. You know, I feel like I can tell the difference for sure between a camera that isn't good versus a camera that is good. Um, especially, you know, considering the amount of phones that I've had in my time, I've seen some, some, some very poor cameras and I've seen some really, really good performing cameras. And I really think that this is one of the good performing cameras. Um, now again, as far as the audio, um, as I've mentioned before, we've got the dual front-facing JBL certified speakers. Now, the thing that's so unique about these speakers is they're on the back as well. So if you're listening to music and the phone is just sitting on its back, you're going to get a very crisp, rich sound. Okay. Now, if you flip the phone and you turn it over on its face, you're going to get the same sound. So there's not like anything's going to be muffled, you know, just because you got the phone on its back or on its front. So that's a, that, that was very, very unique of Alcatel to, to, to build that into the phone. I mean, so it doesn't matter the orientation. You know, you can have it on its front. You can have it on its back. You're going to get the same wonderful stereo sound from both of these speakers. Um, another thing that I like with Alcatel is um, the way the screen flips. Trying to unlock the phone. Oh, come on. Okay. So, again, if you're holding the phone a certain way, it doesn't matter the orientation. If I turn the phone upside down, the screen just flips upside down. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how you hold the phone. Now the phone is back right side up. It just flips right back around. So, I mean, to me, that is dope. I mean, you know, if the phone is ringing... And, you know, you're not sure how, how you put it down. It doesn't matter how you pick it up. You can pick the phone up either way, and the, the screen is going to orient itself to 
how you pick up the phone. And that's another advantage of having the dual front firing speakers, which even talking on the phone, talking on this phone sounds absolutely phenomenal. I mean, it's, I think talking on this phone, in my opinion, is as closest to a landline as there is. The sound quality, I mean, the voice on the other end of the phone was as rich as, I, it's as rich as it possibly can be. You know, the sound quality is excellent on this phone. Again, uh, the advantages of having the dual front facing speakers is it doesn't matter how you answer the phone. With the screen flipping like that, you can answer it either way. And the phone is going to know the orientation in which you're holding it. And so the sound is just going to come from any one of those speakers, depending on how you hold the phone. To me, that's dope. You know, that's dope. Um, God, I mean, I'm such a fingerprint magnet. It, it is it is a fingerprint magnet. I do have a, um, there's a case that I bought um, that has a stand because I watch a lot of content from Cricut and it came with the screen protector and it's very, you see all the smudges on the phone. I mean, it's not really a good look, um, but it is a screen protector nonetheless. I would recommend that you put a screen protector on the phone. This is a very nice, well-crafted device. Um, it is very light. I think it weighs maybe a hundred, I think it weighs 135 grams, which is nothing. Um, but uh, I'm not too, it, it, even though it's it has a premium build to it, it feels really good in the hand. I'm not sure exactly how durable it is. You know, I'm not sure if it'll survive too many drop tests. So definitely you want to put this phone in a case for sure just to protect it. I've got a plastic screen protector on here. You know, I, I'm very careful with my things, which is mainly how I earn that name pristine. You know, I, I take care of everything. Everything that I own is in pristine condition. I very, very seldom drop cell phones, but even still, you know, I keep them in cases and I keep screen protectors on them just in case, you know, things happen, you know, mistakes are made. You never know. Um, you definitely don't want to drop this phone because depending on how high you drop it from, the screen may crack on the front or, bra or, or back. This is glass. It's, it's Gorilla Glass 3. But again, you know, it's it's a tough form of glass, but it's not like it's shatterproof. Um, <laughs> I mean, so if you drop this joint, it's going to crack for sure. So definitely want to get a case and a screen protector on this phone. Um, the phone does have du uh, um, NFC, which is solid. Um, now, the battery. It is a non-removable uh, 2610 milliamp hour battery. Um and I'd have to say, I mean, I have to, I, I've had excellent battery uh, on this phone. I haven't had any problems with it. Now, I'm not like a real, real heavy, heavy user, you know. So the most I do with these phones is, you know, I I watch video, I, I watch YouTube videos. Most of the time, I'm connected to Wi-Fi, you know, either at home or when I'm at work. You know, I'll go ahead and connect at work. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, the battery was solid. I mean, you know, I've gotten a full day. Uh, actually, I've gone a few days without having to charge this phone. Um, and so a lot of times, you know, it just depends. I'm kind of sometimey with phones. Sometimes I'll put phone on a, uh, a phone on the charger every night. Other times I'll just let it drain all the way down. I mean, typically I don't let the battery drain all the way down. I mean, so I, I've, I've been known to be more of a put it on the charger at night kind of guy then take it off the charger in the morning before I leave the house um whether I'm going to work or if I'm going running a few errands or whatnot um but I'd have to say with my own personal use I mean the battery has been phenomenal it hasn't been an issue at all it's held up very well with with the way that I use the phone um uh now according to the specs that I got online it said that the standby time is up to 520 hours and then the talk time is up to 15 hours not too sure how accurate that is, um, but that is that that is what what I was able to find online. Um, so, I mean, maybe it is close to that. But I know just with my own personal real world use, no issues out of the battery whatsoever. Um, and again, you know, it, it does you know support quick charge, and so even if you do have to charge your battery on the go, um, you know, you could either bring your charger with you. And, uh, you know, you can charge up and, um, and you should be good to go. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's real quick. Just get it unlocked here. I know that a lot of people, they make a big sneak over the processors and the speeds and all that kind of thing. And as I've covered in, in, in multiple other videos, you know, I mean, 
you know, there's a lot of phones that have the high power, you know, the Snapdragon 820, 821. I think the Pixel phone has the 821. You know, all these phones are going to do the job. You know, just, you know, the higher the processor, the faster it's going to load up, you know, and the more things that you'll be able to manage as far as multitasking. But, you know, you see how snappy this is. I mean, look how I'm just breezing through the screens. This is a Snapdragon 617, you know, uh, 405 GPU. Very snappy. Get into my Bible app. You know, I always like to show you guys a little bit of that word. You know, you see that? I mean, just a matter of seconds. Tap on that verse of the day. You know, you guys can pause it. Go ahead and get that word for the day. You know what I mean? We all need it. But, uh, yeah, you know, you see that. I mean, again, let's Dropbox. Again, I, I open these apps in every one of my review videos because, I mean, these are files that are really big that I feel take the longest to open. So I click on these apps just to give you guys an idea of the amount of time that it takes for it to open up some of the apps that are holding the most content. You know what I mean? So, um, like, let's go to the score. You know, loads up. Just breezes right through it. Oh, what? Wade Phillips taking the hospital after sideline collision. Man, these coaches, man, they be they need to stand back. They be too close <laughs> to the action, you know. But I hope Wade Phillips is okay. You know, I'm a, I'm not really a Denver fan, but uh, you know, I don't wish no harm on anybody. You know, um, go go Seahawks and and and, and Eagles for sure. Actually, let me reverse that. Eagles first, then Seahawks. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, yeah. So um. The 617 is just, it, 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 it's, it's, it's handling things very well. You see how snappy things are? Um, let's see. See how it's just breezing through the apps that I've had opened? You know, go ahead and just clean those out when you want to shut everything down. Yeah, this phone right here is, is, is just, it's a solid performer all around you know you've got a good snappy processor nice fluid um response no lag buttons are nice and tactile very very bright beautiful 1080p display excellence matter of fact here let me let me let me let me test these speakers real quick y'all let me let me go to some of my previous videos and i want to play i don't i don't have any music that i can play but let's just let's go to the uh, the unboxing that i did for the phone just real quick. Oh, can I play it from here? Thought I could. Oh, well. Guess I can't. Oh, that's weird. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me do this. Let me pull up one of my videos, y'all, just to kind of give you guys a taste of the speakers and just how they sound um, to conclude the video. Go ahead and get past the ad. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is uh, Jewel, also known as Mr. Pristine, back to do another video. Now I just want to do a quick unboxing of the Alcatel Idol 4 with VR experience. Um, now this is in my hand, so let me let me sit it down. Wireless for ninety nine dollars if you port a number. So I ported one of my numbers from T Mobile uh, to take advantage of this phone for a hundred bucks. Um, I believe on Amazon right now this phone is like two seventy, and then on the actual Alcatel website. So I was off by a hundred bucks because I looked it up after that. This phone is three seventy on Amazon and the Alcatel website. So. You're really getting this phone um, for the low if you go if you so get yeah, it through cricket. Without further ado, let's go ahead and just take a look at the box and take a look at some of the specs. Yeah, but um, listen to how rich my voice sounds and the clarity of it. I mean, there's a real benefit to having dual front firing speakers. And so I think that that should just be the standard. A lot of companies should just implement that in their phones. You know, I mean, I, th that's something that I wouldn't mind if every phone carrier copied. You know, 
Now, my thing too is a lot of times, like when I'm listening to, to, to sound on my phones, I've got my Bluetooth connector in my ear. So, you know, dual front firing speakers, I mean, they sound good if you're going to be listening to any kind of audio from the phone itself. But typically me, you know, I've got a Bluetooth headset in my ear. You know, I'm personal. A lot of times I'm on my work at break. You know, I don't want people knowing what I'm, you know, what I'm watching or listening to whatever it is that I'm looking at. So I'll just have my Bluetooth in my ear. My Bluetooth stays with me. I keep it connected. And that's usually where I get my audio. So typically, you know, I don't, you know, the speaker on the on the phone is not really a big deal to me because I typically run things through Bluetooth anyway, um, ninety five percent of the time. But if you do, if, you know, if you don't have Bluetooth and you just want to hear good quality uh, stereo sound from a phone, definitely, definitely can't go wrong with this device right here. Um, another one you guys may want to check out for sound quality is the ZTE Axon 7. That one actually sounds better than this one. But I'd have to say that those two phones are the best sounding phones on the market right now. I'd say the Axon 7 first and then the, Al the Alcatel Idol 4 and the 4S as the runner up behind the Axon 7. Um, so again, fellow, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, just my, my, my overall thoughts and conclusions, uh, my personal opinion, this is an excellent device, especially for the price if you get it through Cricut. You know, $100 if you poured in a number, $149.99 if you choose not to port in a number. Um, the phone is unlockable. As you see, um, I've got my AT&T SIM card, as I showed in the beginning of the video. You saw the AT&T uh, logo at the top of the phone. Um, GSM unlocked, I mean, so you can use it with T-Mobile, AT&T, Metro PCS, Cricut, um, all the other GSM networks that are out there. I don't know them all off the top of my head, but um, I would recommend this phone to anybody. Very, very solid performing device. I haven't had any problems, no hiccups, no lag. Um, I gave you guys a brief demonstration of that 617 in, in, in action. Um, so yeah, I would recommend this phone to anybody. You know, for If you don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a, on a device. You know, we live in a day and age where you don't have to do that anymore. I mean, you can really get some really good quality phones for a reasonable price. Um, you don't have to break the bank. Um, and yeah, I think that this phone right here is definitely um, a solid contender with some of the more affordable quality devices. So again, this is your boy Pristine, Pristine review of the Alcatel Idol 4. If you guys dig this video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Go ahead and like the video, share it. Um, support the channel by subscribing if you haven't already. You know, the, the channel is growing um, at, a, at a surprising rate, you know, much more so than I thought it would um, starting off. I've only been in the game for maybe two and a half going on three months. Um, again, my apologies if my videos haven't been as consistent. Um, but it's, man, I'm, I'm a very busy guy. <laughs> um, not to say that you guys aren't important because I'm definitely committed to this. I love doing these videos. Um, and, you know, some, let me, and just real quick, I just want to clear something up. Somebody asked me how much am I being paid to do these videos? You know, I think another one of the things, another one of the reasons as to why it takes me so long to, to put out these videos is because I'm doing this with my own time on my own dime, you know, and these phones are coming out every other week, it seems. You know, and sometimes it's just hard to keep up. I mean, so I've been fortunate enough to get the phones that I've had got my hands on to review for you guys. Um, but the fact is, I'm not balling. You know what I'm saying? And these phones, they 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 cost, and and, and I got expenses. You know, I got a wife, I got three children. You know, I work full time. You know, so you know, I ain't, I ain't got it financially like that. But you know, when I can't afford to get the devices, you know, that I think you guys would be interested in 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 my particular. Um, aspect or views, then I'll go ahead and cop them and, uh, and go ahead and, you know, do the impressions and the review for you guys. So, um, you know, just keep that in mind, you know, but stay locked into the channel, y'all. I got much more to come. And, uh, again, hit that like and subscribe button. If you haven't already, the support is much, much appreciated. Um, uh, much love to my subscribers and the people that follow me, um, from day one till now, you know, let's keep this thing, uh, keep this thing moving. And, um, uh, and yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next one. In the meantime, stay blessed, stay safe, and definitely stay clean <laughs> and pristine. Peace, y'all.